By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a custom contact mesh for an avatar that doesn't have a separate eye material. This will work well with eye tracking and weird eye shapes, like the eye shape on this cello, which is more of an anime style concave eye. So let's get started. The first course of action is to back up your FBX. We're going to be doing blender work, and that involves changing your FBX. And in case anything goes wrong in that process, you want to have a backup. But you only need to back up your FBX. So how do we do that? Well, first off, let's find our avatar in the hierarchy. Let's find the body. And now let's find the mesh of that body. Select that and it'll show us the mesh right here of the body. Now this mesh is going to be part of your FBX. So this is our FBX that we want to back up. And the way we back this up is by right clicking on it, export package, uncheck include dependencies and just make sure that it's just the FBX. Next, you're going to click export and then save that unity package somewhere safe. In case anything goes wrong during the Blender FBX export process and your avatar explodes, you're going to want to uh, load this Unity package back into your project, and this will recover your FBX to what it was before uh, we did on any changes to it. So in case anything goes wrong, you just re-import the Unity package. Now let's load the avatar up in Blender. So I've taken the FBX and I've loaded it into Blender. Uh, you can also just load the official blend file that came with your avatar, but for this I'm going to be using the FBX because it contains all the uh, face tracking blind shapes. So now we're going to want to select the part of the avatar that contains the eyes that we want to make a contact out of. We're going to go into the side panel and click on the material tab right here. Press the plus here to add a new material slot and then press this new button here to add a material to that material slot. I'm going to double click on the text and name this Hypno Eyes. Now we're going to go into edit mode by pressing Control Tab and then pressing edit mode here. I'm going to click on the nothingness on the side here to deselect everything and then hover over the eyes and press L. Same thing with the other eye. Now, if you do this and the whole avatar gets selected or not the correct part of the uh, eyes gets selected, you're going to want to select this manually by just dragging and uh, just kind of selecting things. You can read up more on Blender and how to select things in Blender by Googling around. For this, we're just going to select these. We're going to press Shift D on the keyboard. And then without moving the mouse, press uh, the left mouse button. And now at the top bar right here, we're going to find this little drop down and make sure it's set to individual origins. Next, I'm going to press S and just slightly start moving the mouse. And what's this, what this is doing is it's scaling the duplicate that we've just created. And we want to scale this duplicate in such a way that it doesn't uh, collide with the, uh, the eyes that are underneath it. So if we zoom in, a bit awkward, but as you can see, uh, the, the duplicate that we've made is now on top of the normal eyes. In the case of the cello, these eyes are kind of inside out. They're, they are this kind of like bean shape, but they're inside out. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to make sure that we recalculate the normals by pressing Shift N. As you can see, it's recalculated the normals. And for your context, you might not need to do this. So uh, probably skip this step. But in case they are inside out like the shallow for you, you're going to want to recalculate the normals. Now, with the eye selected in edit mode, we're going to go back into our right hand side hot tab here and press assign. Now we've just assigned all of these, uh, all this new geometry into the hypno eyes material. And now at this point, if later on when you're making the preset for these eyes, you run into a problem where the UV space doesn't quite match what we need for the hypno eyes. This is where you're going to want to come back and re unwrap this, um, these new eyes. We have a tutorial on how to do a proper UV unwrap in the description. So come back to that in case you do find out that you need to make a new UV unwrap. Now, optionally, I'm going to create a blend shape to hide these hypno eyes. So let's go into the sidebar here and press the data. Let's go back into object mode, press the little plus here, do double click to rename this to hide hypno. Press this little shape key edit mode thing here and go back into edit mode. Set the value of the hide hypno to one and then press S zero. That will scale these to zero. And now if we move the value back to one, uh, back to zero, as you can see, it will show the hypno eyes and at one, it will hide the hypno eyes. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and export this. To export, we should go into file, export FBX, find the folder with the FBX that you want to export it into. I'm going to be overriding the existing FBX that we just uh, imported. We're going to expand the armature here, select all the objects in the armature by pressing the bottom one and then shift clicking up into the armature. Limit two, selected objects, visible objects. In armature, uncheck add leaf bones. 
And now apply scalings. This is going to be different for every avatar. And actually, if your avatar does have official export guidelines for the FBX from Blender, please follow those. But in case it doesn't, which most avatars don't, this is what you're going to do. And so for the apply scalings one, if you don't know what to use here, you can go look into the FBX in Unity and take a look at this part right here, this one meter to one meter Unity. If it says one meter to one meter, then this needs to be set to FBX all. However, if it says one centimeter to one centimeter, then you're going to want to set this to all local. In the case of the shallow, it's going to be FBX all because it's one meter to one meter. And now we can go ahead and overwrite our FBX. And now back in Unity, as you can see, we have our contacts on top of the eyes. Now we can go ahead and calibrate these and create a preset for them. We have a whole tutorial walking you through this in the description. So I'm just going to quickly walk through this whole thing right here. So I'm just going to put the calibration on. Drag the body in, just kind of adjust it on the UV space. And now if your UVs are kind of like weird here, this is where you want to go back and unwrap them and follow the unwrap tutorial. And yeah, and now we can go ahead, save this preset as the shallow preset, and then just put in any material that we want, like the volcano one, then use the shallow preset. There we go. Of course, we can go ahead and use the plane shape that we created here at the Hide the Hypno to hide it. And that's it. You've now created a custom uh, contacts mesh. And of course, it's going to work with your eye tracking blend shapes as well. As you can see, they follow these blend shapes perfectly well. Of course, not all of them are going to move the eyes, but as you can see, things are fine. And yeah, that's about it. Have fun.